page and um, in this particular part of it we're going to focus on skin cleanup and dodging and burning. So I'm going to use a clone stamp tool. I usually make it around the size of their eye. I am going to uh, make it completely soft. In my flow I'm going to put about 30% and what I'm going to do is just kind of come in underneath her eyes here. I don't want to flatten it out, but I want to take some of that shadow. I am also going to come in around her mouth area um, just because of her skin type and she uh, has the darker hair. It can tend to look like a little mustache. Also I'm doing that um, above her eyes. I just want her to have really soft, smooth skin. So right now, I'm just grabbing anything that is bugging me. So um, we'll have to work on her arms here a little bit. I think a lot of this I can do um, in smoothing, but um, obviously she was cold, and so she's got some red areas that I want to take care of. And her little legs. We don't want to forget the legs and the arms. Okay, so when I pull out, I feel like there's kind of a little too much of a shadow right here and so I'm going to put my clone stamp tool down just a little bit more and I'm just going to use it to round this light area and pull it into the dark just a little bit just to keep it from being such a difference there. So I'm going to pull back and I'm going to turn the opacity down on that just a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to flatten that out. Um, before I worry about her red hands, I'm just going to go through my normal process because it could pretty much take care of it um, just with my skin smoothing and stuff like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is do some dodging and burning and I'm going to use curves to do this. The areas that I want to focus on as far as the overall area is these spots here because they're too dark for me. I usually, when I do something like this, I want her to be the brightest part and then I want a vignette around her. So I'm going to start by going to get curves and I'm going to create a curves layer. I'm going to lift my middle points up until I feel like the background is all kind of where I want it. And that's pretty close, but obviously it's way too bright on her. So I'm going to start removing it off of her. And so it's a white layer, which means it's a white layer mask and I can pull it off of her. And I'm gonna do this kind of gradually. So I'm going to just start removing it from the areas that are too bright to kind of blend in what were the shadows before. So you can see the difference that that has made. I'm going to pull that off of her face just a little bit though. So I feel like now the picture is more evenly lit than what it was before. So I feel like I can, um, I might even pull it off of her just a tad bit more. Mm, that might be a little too much don't want her too bright because I am going to dodge her still. There we go. Okay, so that I was not happy with. This, I like the way it looks. So I'm going to flatten that out. Now I'm just going to focus on her and dodging her. So when I dodge artistically, um, I'll dodge the skin, the eyes, the hair, the clothing, everything, because that gives it an overall fill. And I use curves to do it just like I just did. So I'm going to create my dodge, which is me lifting up that middle. You can see what that does is it makes it really bright. I'm going to command I to invert it and remove it. And then I'll use a white brush 
to bring it back in certain areas. Now, I know whenever I dodge, because I do it so often, I know that there are certain areas I want to be brighter than everything else. So I'll start with those on 100% opacity. And those areas are going to be the inside of the eye and the catch lights in the eye. That's always for me the brightest part of any image. Then I'll start slowly moving my flow down. So with her, I might bring her overall eye up just a little bit, but I know I'm not gonna want it nearly what I did center. So it's almost like, mm, say you're putting on paint, but you want it heavier in certain areas. And so that's what I'm doing. So the lips are an area that I'll dodge. And I don't like to have too much there. I don't like too much on the skin. So um, I do like to dodge the skin up though. And when you're first doing this, it looks kind of crazy, but when it's all done, you can see the effect that it has. So that's what I would do with her face. Now the hair is an area where I do like a lot more dodging and especially because she has darker hair. And what I'm gonna do is I just am grabbing areas that I naturally see the, refl the light reflecting off of or an area that I personally want to draw your attention to. So it can be in a curl, it can be the flat part of the hair, anywhere that I just want to make you look in the overall picture is what I'm going to dodge in her hair. And so there we go. There's that part of it. Now, when it comes to the overall dodging of everything else, I will dodge her arms and her feet or her legs, like the rest of her skin, but I do not do that very high. So, but I do it a little bit more than her face. So I'm gonna dodge there, dodge these little parts of her legs and her feet, anywhere that the light would be hitting in the middle areas is what I like to dodge. Now I'm gonna dodge, start dodging the rest of her. So I'm going to work on her flower crown. That would be an area where I would want to uh, have it kind of extra special, stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to dodge that and I kind of use the same method that I do with when it comes to dodging um, the hair. I'm looking for areas that are naturally brighter and it's just going to add dimension to the overall look and it makes it more artistic looking in the end. Okay. So there's that. Now for her clothing, I typically would dodge the clothes and make them brighter. In this particular case, because it's such a light, bright outfit, I'm not going to do it. I actually probably will do some darkening on it um, when we get to the burn portion of this. So I'm happy with what we've dodged on her clothes. I might even dodge the little stool underneath you can't see much of it, but I might grab a few spots on that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my opacity to just turn this down until I'm happy with it. And usually at this point, I'm really paying attention to her skin and getting it where I like it on her skin. Now, if I find that I'm turning it down and everything else, all the work that I'm doing is going away, I'll actually boost it back up. And then I'll use a black brush on a low flow to just remove it and blend it in to her face a little bit more if I feel the need to, which I did in this case. And I'm gonna take it off her legs just a little bit. 
There we go. Maybe a little bit more just under the eyes. So that's the dodging that we've done. Now we're going to burn. And so burn means the opposite. Burn means you're darkening. And so you do it just the opposite way. Is you Instead of lifting this line up, you pull this line down in the center. And that's going to darken it. And now I do the same thing with command I to invert it so it's not visible. And then instead of the center and the bright spots, I'm looking for the edges and the dark spots. And that's what I'm going to be burning. And I just literally do it the same way that I did my, um, my dodging. I just do the exact opposite, but I'm literally painting in. So with her eyes, um, I don't need to do her brows because they're already so dark. I don't really feel the need to, but I am going to go um, around the outer part of her eye. I'm going to do her lash line. I'm going to do um, her skin on a very, very low flow, but I do it and it just adds some shape. Now you can see I'm getting sloppy right there. Let me undo that. just a little bit. So I'll show you guys kind of what we're working on here. You can already see that it's just, it's adding dimension to the overall image. I'm going to do her um, arms here as well on a very low flow. I usually don't go too crazy with the fingers. Sometimes I will. It just depends if they're a uh, focus in the picture, which in this case they are not. Okay, so I'll flip that on and off. Now remember, this is the extreme version of it, so we are going to back it off. And I do want to um, burn her dress a little bit because it's just it's a little too bright for me especially up towards the top. I feel like it's taking away from the focus being on her face. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the overall opacity down until it blends in better. Okay, so I feel like that looks good. I'm going to flatten that out. And I'm going to show you guys kind of where we started where we're at. That's just the dodging and burning portion of it, just changing the lighting and working with that. And now what I'm going to do is go in and work on her skin a little bit. So I'm going to use um, my skin softening action. And with this, it's black, which means it's not visible. So I'm going to use a white brush 
to apply it. And I usually just apply it um, kind of heavily and then I just back down my opacity. What I love about the skin softening is it just blurs and softens the skin, but especially in areas like this where you have some color differences, it just takes care of those and just makes their skin look just almost perfect. And I usually apply it heavy and then I will uh, back it off or pull it off of just certain areas if I need to, if it's too, too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and off a bit to right about there. All right, I like the way that looks, so I'm going to flatten it. And the final thing I'm going to do before I work on my color work is I'm going to go in and I'm going to sharpen her eyes up just a bit. I'm going to sharpen her eyes, her nose, and her lips just a little bit. Okay, you guys. So I'll show you where we started with this, when we brought it in here before we dodged and burned and did all that. And then this is where we're at right now. And from this point, now I go into more of the artistic part of it and that'll be in the next video.